24 year olds has, has gone up from 3 to 21 percent. Do these guys around this table, do the political parties in Northern Ireland, do they inspire you that, we, that they can fix our problem here, that they can make us? Not really. I, not really. I think we need to look. We need to look at countries like that. What, like Stephen, the, okay. the, 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 one second, one second. Just the, hold that the there. Guy here in the black top. Guy in the black top. Go ahead. Yeah, Go ahead. I, w- I would just like to say that I think of Martin, McGin- Martin McGuinness is a hypocrite when he's trying to promote um, this document for a shared future because it is his party that has year in, year out been chipping away at my culture. So he has, and making me resent his party and what they're. And what they well, do. he would say, he's not here to defend himself. I'll tell you what, there's no one from his party can make themselves available to defend themselves either. Your problem, not mine. But he would say that, that he's trying to reach out to your community. He's not. He that's what this proposal is about. He has done Ten absolutely nothing. placements and shared education. He has done absolutely nothing for the loyalist culture. And year in, year out, they have been chipping away, Sinn Féin, and Martin McGuinness have been chipping away okay. at our culture right. year in, year out. All right. And there's, you know, I hear so you. I hear you. And obviously, trying to promote okay, the shared thank future. You. And obviously, he would deny that. As part of the shared future strategy, Peter Robinson and Martin McGuinness have proposed, for example, 